Would you like to easily automate a form filling task or have you ever experienced the frustration of having to use endless activities for a fill form automation? If so, there is a solution from my path by using an activity that uses the power of AI to fill forms which only requires to provide a data source. This signifies a leap towards more efficient development, increased versatility and even reduced maintenance as it moves away from the usage of static selectors. Hi Marcelo and be welcome to my channel. So let's get started and learn how to fill forms with AI on Ypath Studio Web. So let's open Ypath Studio Web. So first we must log in on Ypath Automation Cloud and then click here on Studio. And now to create a new Studio Web project, let's click on Projects and click here on New Project. And initially it asks us to select a trigger for the automation, so let's just keep it simple and choose manual automation. So here we can see the form that we'll use on this tutorial and you can find the link, the URL, on the description of this tutorial. So first we must use the use browser activity and indicate here the page related to the form. So make sure you first open the form on the browser and then it should appear here. So here we can see web data entry, it's this one, so I'll select. So now let's take a look to the data source that we use to fill the form. So here we can see it, it's a Google spreadsheet which has three columns and so the idea here is for each row that we see here, create a record here on the form. So we have to create a loop for each row of this spreadsheet and to create a loop for each row of this spreadsheet we'll use a specific activity and by the way you can find the link, the URL for the spreadsheet so you can also copy it for your Google Drive on the description of this tutorial. So to create a loop for each row of a spreadsheet we'll use the for each row in spreadsheet activity from Google Workspace and now we have to set up the connection to our Google Sheets where we have the data source. So let's click here on connect to Google Sheets and now click here on connect. And now choose the account where we have the data source, the file which has the data for the form. And now let's click here on continue and again on continue. So the connection was done. So now here we can search for the spreadsheet. So we click here. And now I will go to my drive and here you can see uh, the file that we will use as a data source. So let's select it and click on save. Now we have to indicate the range. So we want to read the whole data from this spreadsheet. So let's just select here the sheet name. And now because the first line of the file has the column headers, make sure the has headers option is set to true. And now with the loop for each row of the spreadsheet, Let's use the magic activity that will use the power of AI to fill the form. So the activity name is fill form. So let's select it. So here we can see that by default it takes in account the page that we have indicated on the use browser activity. So it will look for this page to find and understand the form. And then we just have to provide basically the data source. And about the data source, this activity deals with any kind of data source basically. So here you can see some of the supported types, which are basically the dictionary, a JSON file, a data table, text and much more. So in our case, we'll pass the data source the current row uh, that we are iterating here on the loop on the spreadsheet. So let's select here current row from the far each row in spreadsheet. So let's just take a look and see how it's working. So to run, let's click here on test and now the automation will start and we can see how it's working by looking here to the live stream. So let's just wait it to start. So it's starting and here you can see was opened the browser on the form and now it's filling the data on the form correctly. So we can see that it's iterating each row and for each row, it's putting the data correctly on niche field. So it's working properly by using the power of AI to fill the form. So now uh, we just have to set up the automation to click on a submit button and then click on submit another response. So we create a record for each row 
of our sprite sheet. So we can here stop. So after filling the form, we must click here on the submit button. So we'll use here a click activity. And let's decay the button. Let's confirm. And after submit the form, uh, we need to click on the submit another response button. So we go back to the form so we can fill the data of the next row of the spreadsheet. So let's click here on the submit so we can see here the button, the link. So now here, let's add another click activity. Let's indicate here the link. Let's confirm. And that's it. So let's test automation. So now it should submit the data from each row. So let's click here on test. So let's wait it to start. So it's starting. Let's see if it submits the data from each row. And it's working well, we can see that for each row from the spreadsheet, it tenders the data, submits and then clicks on the submit another response to submit the data from the next row. So let's just leave the automation to finish the execution. And here we can see that the execution was successful. And that's it for this tutorial. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so you don't miss any tutorial released here on the channel.